I was actually surprised when you told me that the other day because um, we've had a history of some great teams in this um, program. So to start off and, and break that already is pretty impressive. Um, but, you know, kind of like Coach Mash was saying in hers, you know, the seasons are um, they're segmented for you. So preseason is now officially over, and now all the fun begins on Wednesday. Coach, a pair of 3-1 wins over a Watchtop Baptist on Thursday and then a 3-1 win against Harding on Saturday. Really just decisive victories all the way around. Your team seemed like they were in control, showed off a lot of those offensive weapons that you've talked about throughout the preseason, if you will. Yeah. Just your thoughts on those two matches in particular. Yeah, I thought we um, really played extremely well um, in both matches, not only just in terms of our time on the ball, uh, but we really do have a lot of weapons in our attacking third. Um, and I thought we're finally coming together with how we think we can play in the final third. Um, some errors that we really need to clean up on the defensive side of the ball, um, but all things that you know we obviously are going to address and address hard as we get ready for Wednesday. Coach, whenever you look at the start to this year, do you feel like it's kind of, if you, if you will, just the totality of the last couple of years of this program, beginning the Division II transition, going through two tough years, whether it be COVID, injuries, and now you come out and get off to such a good start. It's not just this year's team. It's not just Correct. the 30, however many players on this roster. It's the players that have been here the last couple of years. Yeah, 100%. We talked about it a lot. I mean, at the end of the day, we've believed in this team for the last three years. And so this is a culmination of the work that we've put in in training, the work we've put in in the film room, um, and just individual development to get us to this point. And to be really honest, um, the resilience and toughness that we've gained over the last couple of years of knowing how to win games in this conference, I think we've gained all that confidence. And I think, as you said, it's just a bringing it all together um, to put it together for the courageous way that we're playing this year. And coach, now the big test on Wednesday <laughs> night at DBU, the number one team in the country. Yeah. Uh, not much more to be said than that. They're right. going to provide a stiff challenge, as they always do, as, uh, as they should. But you get them first, and yeah. then you turn around and come back at home on Saturday. Your thoughts just leading up to the opening week of Lone Star Conference play. Uh, couldn't script it any better mm -hmm. if I tried. Um, you know, you go 5-0 and and, and building some confidence, and then you go to the number one team in the country and play at their home. Um, I have no pressure. I'm not the number one team in the country. I'm just the one that's trying to beat them. So we're going out just like we've gone out every game, um, playing our brand um, and trying to attack the game. Um, and then we'll see what happens. Coach, you, you spoke about your attacking third there, you know, led by Sammy Alvarado. She's scored in every game so far. Safana Dean, Faith Aji, Jordan Colbert. You know, what does it say about your style, plus how those players have stepped up and really just created a big difference for you guys up in the attacking third? Yeah, well, I would say that we um, have watched women's volleyball a lot. And what they have had over the last year and a half is a swag. Um, so when they walk in a gym, they have a swagger and a confidence, confidence about the way they play. We didn't last year. We were hoping we would score goals. And this year, um, we know we can score goals. And so every single day, we focus on that confidence in the final third to be a finisher. Um, and so I want to thank volleyball for their uh, leading the way. But yeah, I think every one of our players this year feels like they can score goals. Um, last year, I think we hoped we could score goals, and there's a huge difference when the ball hits the back of the net. So I think all of them are, are really competing at that high level and know that if at any given time, it's their moment. Um, they've just got to step into it. Coach, appreciate the time. Good luck this week. LSC play is officially Let's underway. Go. Good